One of the big things uh, from a feature standpoint in the airplane is its performance capability. We kept an airplane that has a, a very good payload uh, capability, full fuel payload capability at 1,000 pounds. Um, and at the same time, we're able to maintain our field performance that people have come accustomed to in the uh, light jet and CJ uh, legacy aircraft. But at the same time, we've pushed our speeds and our uh, range capability of the airplane. So you're carrying a thousand pounds of full fuel payload with an increased range over the other uh, CJs as well as uh, a significant increase in speeds and, and uh, capability from that aspect. So from a performance standpoint, this is the package and uh, it does extremely well. And I've personally flown this airplane and I'm very pleased with how the team, the development team has done with this airplane. We worked to make sure that when this airplane is delivered to the field, that it is maintainable. We keep our cost of operations very low on this aircraft. In fact, it's a, ve a very minor change from, from uh, the other CJs in the lineage while you're getting an incredible amount of value uh, added to the aircraft uh, from, uh, from a system standpoint as well as from uh, an amenity standpoint. The maintainability side of this was an extremely important. We've had a chief of maintenance on this airplane from day one and uh, has been a part of that core team and, and very much helped in the design processes of the airplane from the ground up. Uh, looking at uh, uh, maintainability, what it takes to access uh, LRUs and how, long, how fast we can get the airplane returned to service when we do have that unfortunate event where we need to uh, service the aircraft. So um, those things have really been focused on hard on this airplane and, and, uh, and I believe is going to uh, really set us uh, in the next uh, stage for what we do with citations going forward. The engines are, of course, uh, an improvement uh, and an inc uh, increase in thrust and things that we've done, but still builds on that lineage of the, the, uh, the powerhouse from the Williams FJ44 engine series uh, with this next level of engine. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com. We've spent a lot of time on the cockpit design of this airplane. Um, working it over from the standpoint of, of the operation of the airplane and the crew workload uh, of the airplane, uh, this airplane's been focused very well on not only the single pilot capability of the airplane, but also the ability to operate the airplane as a crew. And when you look at other airplanes in the field, a lot of times that when you focus on a single pilot airplane, um, you, you have to really design the cockpit around that and it's not necessarily the most conducive for a crew to operate the aircraft. This airplane actually does both very well. We redesigned that cockpit from the aspect of operations, but we also really focused on making the front end of this airplane, the, front, the cockpit of the airplane, match what we do from an interior perspective in the back of the airplane. The styling matches all the way through from the cabin to the cockpit and back, and the ergonomics of the airplane from a human factor standpoint really is conducive for the crew operating the airplane. So we're very proud of, of that aspect from a clean cockpit and a quiet cockpit aspect. Moving into the cabin of the airplane, we have the first all-inclusive very well organized and integrated cabin management system in this airplane that we've done. And we really took that to the next level. Rockwell Collins developed that system for us and uh, we are very pleased with how that uh, it system is operating. From the entertainment capabilities in it, but even bigger than the entertainment capabilities in that system, is the ability to manage shades and lighting and, and uh, temperature and fan speed controls for the environmentals. We can now have the passengers doing that activity and uh, not have the crew guessing at what they want in the back of the airplane. So a lot of capabilities on that front. Uh, another really neat feature that's in the cabin of the airplane is the window shades. We have a two position window shade in this airplane and there's a, what we call a shear configuration which lets some light in without the glare. 
And we also have what's a blackout uh, configuration. So as the uh, shades progress through their various stages, you can completely black out the stage. And from the master panel and the cabin management system, you can the, the crew can actually shut all those shades in one touch of a button as they walk off the aircraft and keep the cabin cool. We've been really focused on technology, and as you know, that technology changes very rapidly. Uh, when you look at uh, off-the-shelf electronics that go on, you know, you buy something and six months later it's obsolete. Uh, from an aircraft perspective, when you have to meet all the regulatory and CERT requirements, there, that infuses a different timing into how you do that. Um, the, uh, the amenities that we did when we looked at 2010 for the best uh, goggles we had on us at the time uh, that we were doing this in 2005 from a layout perspective, um, we, uh, we do have uh, the ability to uh, plug in laptops in the airplane. We have power ports in the airplane to be able to feed power to various electronic components. We have HDMI in this airplane as an option. Um, you can plug in virtually any uh, audio video device into the airplane that you want to and use it whether it be simple RCA connections or full up HDMI connections, you can do that. Um, we have VGA uh, ports for laptops. Uh, in the airplane and we also have um, uh, the uh, capability to plug in fax machines those kinds of things. Integra Release 9 sets a new standard with the easiest to use pilot interface in all of general aviation. Access to any of Release 9's powerful capabilities is as simple as pressing the desired bi-directional page key. Pressing the same key in a desired direction navigates to the clearly labeled tabs with no more guessing as to what a given pilot input would do. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology and the easiest to use page and tab user interface is just one of the many benefits designed to make your flying easier and safer. Commonality is an important issue and uh, it was on our minds from day one on this program. What we wanted to do is we wanted to infuse technology but not make it so that when you got in the airplane you felt like you were in a completely new airplane, but yet you still had all the amenities that come with technology improvements. Uh, it's very important that when they get in this airplane that it's not something all new that they have to learn from an operation standpoint. Certainly from the pilot perspective, we're very focused on common type ratings and things like that. And one of the ways you do that is you really have to look carefully at handling qualities of the airplane. The airplane handles very much like uh, other citations. It handles uh, very much like the rest of the CJs. Um, and so as a result of that, you really can kind of position yourself to make sure that we don't get ourselves in a position where uh, people are having to learn something completely new. Um, so it is very important that we stay focused on that. I think we've done a good job of that. There are new things in this airplane um, that we have incorporated, but we've done it very strategically um, while maintaining the, the legacy and the commonality with the other airplanes. From a manufacturability perspective, um, I would say that we focused on that not so much from a commonality perspective in manufacturing, but more from a lessons learned perspective and really looking through what works well for us on all the citation lines, not just the CJ lines, and really incorporating the best of all airplanes into one. And that's really what we did. We looked at everything from the Citation 10 all the way down through the CJ1 and the Mustang and said, okay, what's the best that everyone uh, really works well for everyone, not from, from manufacturability, from a customer perspective, and culminated that into the design of the CJ4. And, uh, and did that all while trying to maintain the commonality all the way through the threads.